Hey angels, welcome back to Unique Mystery. So angels, this is a story time today. And this story time is about the time that me, my mama, and my sister double teamed my uncle. Well, triple teamed my uncle. So my uncle was in the military, okay? He was in the military for years and years, lots and lots of years. He was like the chief of something in the military. So for one, my uncle always thought that he was the boss of everything and everyone, you know, all of us around him. Like whatever he said had to go, um, he'd come around, he'd have a loud voice like a loud rough voice that sometimes made us afraid okay when we was little for some reason as we grew up me and my sister and started getting you know at least in our 20s early 20s we wasn't afraid of my uncle anymore so but my uncle still thought at that time that he could come around and tell everybody what they need to do, what they better do, and the way they need to do it. And he didn't want to hear anything. This is how it had to be. And this is how it has to get done. Also, my uncle, he loved to play around rough, okay? So sometimes he would just maybe push you or something or something like that or he and my mama sometimes like when he was trying to get a point through and my mama was telling him things like no this isn't right he'll start like hearts playing rough with my mama and stuff like that so yeah so that's how he was so without thinking sometimes he would just play too rough and horse play around all the time when he felt like it too aside from telling you things and feeling like everything had to go his way or you had to do exactly what he said just like one time you know when me and my sister was little we used to suck our thumbs but when my uncle came to visit we knew that we had to get our thumbs out of our mouths because my uncle had us scared to suck our thumbs around him he would say things like if you suck your thumb i'm gonna take your thumb off i'm gonna put hot sauce on it and you won't ever be able to suck your thumb again and all this crazy stuff but anyway so we was afraid when we was little um we was afraid when we was little to um suck our thumbs in front of my uncle so my uncle was like, um, yeah, he would tell us all the, all these things and stuff, you know, like what we better do, what we should do, and blah, blah, blah. But that worked when we was little, okay? That actually worked. It had us scared. We was afraid of him. So anytime he come around, we would do what the opposite of what we were doing because... If he say you shouldn't do this, you better not do this, and blah, 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 and we was afraid. So like I said, though, when we hit our 20s, we weren't afraid of my uncle anymore, you know. It was like, okay, look, I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. You don't come around and boss me and tell me what I should be doing. If I'm 20 or 21 and I want to suck my thumb, that's what the hell I'm going to do. I don't care if you come around or not, which I was not sucking my thumb when I was 21 and 20 but I'm just saying if that's what I was wanting if I wanted to do that <clears throat> that's what I would have done you know so yeah at that point we was not afraid of my uncle anymore so but my uncle didn't understand that he thought it was like okay you are in your 20s now I still can tell you guys what to do you better listen blah 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 but anyways so anyway one day uh, and this was when my sister was pregnant. So one day my uncle came to visit us, okay? I don't know what happened, but 
my uncle was talking about something some some kind of mumble jumble what we need to do and this and that so we was telling him me and my sister was like no we're gonna do what we want to do you can't tell us this you can't tell me this you can't tell her this we do what we want to do if that's our choice you can't you know boss us and make us scared because we're not afraid anymore so whatever was going on we just start telling my uncle this and that so and my mama was with us she was like exactly we can do that if that's our choice whatever we was talking about that day because i really don't remember exactly what it was but somehow I guess my uncle got mad because my sister kept going with him about something, you know, and then so, and like I said, remember, at the time, my sister was pregnant, so he wasn't thinking, and he started horse playing around with my sister, like, and he was being a little too rough, so my mama was like, don't, don't do that, because, you know, my sister... Is pregnant so do not do that so my uncle was not listening he was just being his regular usual self not listening to anybody and just playing around like it's okay or whatever oh it's not gonna hurt her I'm not gonna hurt her you know she's gonna be okay she's strong so he would not listen so after a while he got on our nerves he made us mad so my sister started punching him next thing you know I jumped on his back and I started punching him in the head I got some good punches up in the head okay some good punches okay and then my mama grabbed him and stuff so he could not like swing or nothing like that so my mama grabbed his hands I got up as I said I was on his back I um punched him some good good punches in that head like hard punches he was so mad he didn't know what to do oh, like cute. he didn't see this he did not see this coming you know he was shocked so then my sister was still punching him punching him and i was still punching his head and my mom was holding him then my mom stopped punching him because it seems like he was gonna get loose or whatever so we all like triple teamed him and was just punching him you know i was getting that head really good my sister i think was like punching his back and my mama was just punching him anywhere she could and we was just triple team we got him down he got on the floor and he could not do anything you know he could not do anything we we just beat him and then after that my uncle finally learned his lesson now that did not change him i mean completely because after that day he still when he came around he still was kind of mouthy sometimes but then it kind of it went down some like he wasn't so bad with telling me and my sister anymore what we need to do what we should do because at that point he realized that we were adults and we can do what we want to do and if you got your opinions about something and you want to tell us something nicely that's fine but you're not going to come around and try to bully us or nothing so i i think he caught on from that moment that we when we triple teamed him but um sometimes when he came around he still would say certain things but just not to the extent that he usually would so i think that day when we triple teamed him and beat him real good I think that he understood after that and everything got kind of better. So yeah, that was the time when me, my mama, and my sister triple teamed, not double teamed, but triple teamed my uncle, like, you know, got some good punches. I like punched him in the head. Like I tried to punch some sense into him that we were adults that day, you know, when everything went down, I was just all in his head all in his head so i guess i got some good punches and i kind of rearranged and helped him with his head to think better to understand that we are adults and you can't come around and bully us and stuff no more and you can't come around and make us afraid and scared like you used to when we were little kids so i actually think that those punches to the head is what kind of 
got him back on track and changed, you know, him when he came around us. You know, he was more understanding that these are adults. You know, he still said little things here and there to us sometimes, but he got a better understanding that nobody is going to just jump and do things because you say do it or you can't make us afraid or you can't scare us anymore. It's a whole different ball game now. So I was so happy that I got those punches to the head that day because I think it actually like changed his head, his brain around. So that's what happened that day, angels. And thanks for listening. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment and share. And I will see you angels in my next video. Bye angels.